Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'll go over some uh, information about the Rave Bullet GTX. As uh, I just did actually 0 to 20 and also some speed test on the regular road, which performer I think it's good for this price range and also for the bicycle in uh, total like um, average performance. But I did just a few days ago another test for the battery. And I did the battery test, not the original one, the replacement. I already removed the replacement battery because I don't really need it because this bike was not under recall. So it should be fine. But let me set it up. So the battery, uh, a lot of people like uh, getting the battery replaced and I actually got the battery as well and when I contact Rave they told me they sent me in mistake because my bike came in January so it was the last batch which shouldn't be under recall and I just did speed test again and I did, uh, I rode over 25 miles, actually more than 25 miles on the bike. I did some speed test and also testing the battery for throttle only and the video will probably publish tomorrow and uh, I just want to go over some uh, information what I like about this bike and if you're looking to buy one they do have new models right now so you might want to check the link in description but the bike looks a little bit dirty and the reason it's dirty because I actually rode it in the mud, but I don't have fenders much. But it looks like everything like just fall off after I rode it like for a, lot, a little bit. So let me show you the aftermath, I guess. So as you can see, like uh, I'm trying to do. I'm not sure the quality of the live stream right now, but you can see probably. It's a little bit still dirty, but not as bad as the first time because all the dirt came out. I do have the small fenders and I don't want to attach the rear one. I don't have actually, but I didn't even want one because I'm in California. We don't get the mud or rain often. And also it looks much better without any fenders, as you can see. It does give you a little bit dirty stuff like around when I start to ride get a little bit dirty over here but a lot of people uh, have uh, post but I talked to Kai and about what issues they had like having recently so far looks like it's not as much as uh, looked like online post I only I have zero issue on this bike so far and I rode it about I'm gonna turn it on. Let's see, 84 miles, zero issue. And I rode it at a mostly higher speed. And I just tried uh, jumping off the curbs everywhere. It's very quietly and doing really good actually. So I would rate it probably nine out of 10 this bike easily because the performance is great the motor listed at 750 but actually it's probably a thousand or even above maybe even 1200 um for legal purposes they put 750 on the stickers over there and also it comes with two stickers for class two or class three so it's up to you which sticker you want to put on your bike when you're gonna ride it but the fork it's not bad at all like again if you're riding off-road maybe you want to get air fork but for me riding on regular road it does the job and it's about 80 millimeter travel as i can see cool. 
And if you have any questions, please let me know because uh, I'm here to answer any questions you might have about this bicycle. And I also have $50 off in description. Uh, I might do another video compare like later on with a good bike, which uh, much a little bit faster actually, about I would say 10 miles faster. And on this bike, I didn't ride it with my wife yet. So I did attach the pedals. Redshift, it's a really good to ride at night. But let me try to do it. So you might want to leave a comment or in chat, so I'm gonna read it. Let's see it. Get better. Oh, I don't want to be on the sun because the, cam the camera will turn off on the sun. It's about 45 degree, but the sun can go up to 100 degree, even more. Uh, about the fast uh, rear shock. You can adjust it, but I never get any information from the Rave about what the PSI level for different person weight. So I never really touch it. I put, I think, 130 or 140 PSI because it's air right here, and that's it. It does a pretty good job, but you can adjust it if you want to, but you would need to do some research on it. Uh, the battery, I use only the large one for testing. And I think uh, they use a different cell. So the larger one comes with, I believe, 50 gram, like Samsung, and the bottom one is like 40. So this one should hold the charge longer. Even it's 8 amp, it's about 300 watt hours, but it might last much longer a little bit. So the next video will show you the testing of replacement battery. That's why there's no any stickers you're gonna see in the video. And again, I have a really good experience riding the bike. Uh, something I would love to see on this bike, it's a turn signals, which should come automatically on this type of bicycle, I think. Then maybe larger, but uh, yeah, like, um, maybe a uh, larger crank set maybe and it does come with one speed which okay i never try to pedal it actually well i tried to pedal but if there's no power it's very hard to pedal because only one gear and it is heavy like it's about 100 pounds so it's not as easy to pedal as any other bicycle you would consider to pedal actually about the seat a lot of people asking about the seat and the seat is most comfortable on this bike um i think it's one of the comfortable seat i ever tried on any bicycle and doesn't matter if it's a, a gt model or bullet they actually have the same seat if you buy a gt uh gtx or you buy x model they're gonna have exactly the same seat So the difference between GT model, the GT model would be a little bit thinner and shorter. GTX will be longer and wider. So I did not try to ride together with my wife yet, but I can say when I'm sitting on this part, it's about four inches, maybe a little bit less. So it gives a really good long term, like if you're riding for a long range, very good comfortable position and i know like i tried recently some other emoped style and i'm gonna have another bike coming soon so i'm gonna try to do a review video compare actually this bike versus the gold bike also this gold bike and uh, electric bike company j model eventually to see if it's worth to pay that much money this one is about 2500 which maybe a little bit more expensive than gold bike but what you think over here for the look mostly 
the riding experience is totally different actually because the handlebar is shorter, the position a little bit different, even the handling of the bike a little bit different. So if you're looking, and this one feels a little bit shorter as well. So the good bike I have, motor good, a little bit taller, maybe an, an inch, but also the seat are different. The speed also is different. It's different for the short ride or for the long ride. So performance range, I don't know yet. I'm gonna do the test as well, but in general, they do give you two years warranty. And most people thinking um, the warranty should come with labor. I don't think Rave or many other bicycle comes with labor. So don't expect to get labor covered other than Aventon, I think. Aventon and maybe a few other brands, but you're gonna be paying much more for much less. That's why the usual labor included for the first year. Usually Rave take care of you very well, but again, most of the cases, if something wrong with the bike at arrival, they will take care of it. But if it's under warranty, the labor shouldn't be covered. The labor never covered most of the time when you're buying the bike. Uh, also, if you're trying to assemble the bike, I do have a video in description, but again, if you never assembled bike before, I recommend to take it to the bike shop because it will be the best for your safety and also the performance. And then you will have le le like less issue. And about headlight, so far, let's see, I will turn it on. I, I'm not sure why people, I think I know why, but because the controller they had before on the older batch, but for me, the headlight is working just fine. Still working. So, as I said before, zero issue. So the bike. So the bike has zero issue for me, lucky me, I guess, but the v Huntsman tires are good but riding in the mud was not the best experience i say i almost fall because basically all this traction fill up very good with mud and it just become so slippery so yeah it's not designed to ride in the mud so that's but it does hold the road very well if you're riding on a regular road with clean tires it's holding really good and just design it's amazing Also, if you have any issue with any electric bicycle from February 9 to 19, expect delay because they do have holiday, New Year's holiday in China. Most of the parts and services like support services will come from China with many brands. Even they tell you they're in some states, but usually they are outside. And I'm not talking about Rave, many other brands as well. So just in general if you have an issue with your bicycle whatever brand you have mostly they're going to be on holiday and they take it very seriously so don't get a, like uh, don't be paranoid or worry if they don't respond to you until february 19. so probably they will respond on february 20. um it does come with two removable batteries the charging you have to do separately what i don't like about this bike so you have to charge one battery and then you have to charge another one but when they're both in place they take the charge out from both of them at the same time also i notice the number listed on display and also 
if you look on the display over here, let me display the status. They are not accurate as well, which is also something they need to work on. The smaller battery can be turned off. So I turn it off last testing and you can turn it on or turn it off. It's up to you, it's inside. You don't have to ride with the battery, you can remove it, leave it at home if you want to. But it does when you have this battery, it gives you good uh, weighting. So it basically it's kind of in the middle. So it's giving you good stability on the road as well. And uh, what else? Uh, the braking, uh, they use the left side for the front wheel and right side for the rear. I know some people prefer to have it like in motorcycle, the right to be the front. And I personally always get confused sometimes when I start to ride the bicycle for the first time. For me, it doesn't matter really. So I will try, if I ride for long term, I will try to figure out and remember that. And since there's no comments on, in the chat, if there's any comments. Yeah, since there's no comments in the chat room, I guess I'm gonna end this live stream. I'm just testing to see how quality uh, when I do live stream through the phone versus to GoPro. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.